Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my Barcelona rebuild, this little mini-series we're doing on the FIFA 21 capture event build. Again, thank you so much to EA for allowing me to capture this gameplay and show it to you guys. And just a quick reminder, this is not the final product. It is still a work in progress, but uh, still having loads of fun. Right now, I'm looking at bringing in a defender, and I thought it's a good chance to show you something new in this year's game. So... As you know, before we started the season, we chose to go on the loose. Was it financial strictness? I think that's the box it is. I, I can't quite remember off the top of my head for some reason, but we went with loose. Now, one of the things you can do when it's on loose is sign players that have just moved. It doesn't matter. Just like in real life, you know, sure, a player has just signed for Everton, but if he wants to move straight away because it isn't working after a month, it can happen. It's not impossible. So when you play on loose, you can actually go ahead and sign a player that's just recently joined. So gone are those days of really wanting a signing, but seeing that they've just moved and you're going to have to wait another six months, even a season sometimes. So if you play on strict, this is not possible what I'm about to do, but it is 100% possible on loose. So we're looking at Upamecano. We don't have him scouted just yet, um, but we are in January and it doesn't matter. It's the first day of January. We're just going to go ahead and sign him right now because we don't we don't need to worry about the money side of things. So he's literally just joined. You can see he's accepted a move to Sevilla. It should not let me do this. But look, oh, straight into negotiations. It is, I guess some people would say it's it's actually a little bit unrealistic. Yeah, I, I get what you mean. It, it doesn't happen in football very often. But it, ha it has happened and it can happen. A player might suddenly really regret moving or another team wants to pay the new team a massive amount of money just to let him go straight away and they will do it it's not impossible contracts are there to be broken and and there's release clauses involved and it really as soon as a player joins a team they're available for bids once again it can happen so let's go ahead and offer a transfer fee here i've got no idea how much to offer he should technically have a release clause but he doesn't at least i don't think he did i'm pretty sure he didn't so what we're gonna do is throw in I mean, it, it literally does not matter because he's going to be the last signing we make. So let's throw in 40 million and let's see what Sevilla have to say. And... Oh. Um... <laughs> All of a sudden, things have changed a little bit. So again, something new with the game. They can ask for a player instead. Um, 55 million value. Alba is. He, he's, he's worth more than Upamecano is, clearly. Because they only want 400k more. So... I would guess that Upamecano's, his market value in here is maybe 30, 35 million. Um, I don't want to lose Albert. So what I will do, though, is offer a different player. I believe we've got quite a few midfielders that maybe we could look to move on. Um, I, don't, I don't think they're going to want him. Let's just try. Let's see what happens. We'll obviously have to offer some more money. Uh, let's just throw in 50. Because clearly, they weren't happy with my original offer. And let's see what happens here. And, okay, they're not interested in swapping players. Okay, but they're happy to do 50 million. That's interesting. They basically just said, we don't want the player for free. I've literally just added him in, but they're happy for the 50 million. That makes no sense. The only, the only realistic thing I can imagine here is they don't want to pay the wages. They don't want to pay more to have a player they don't want. So, still doesn't really make sense. They should then be saying, nah, take off the player. We'll do 55. But hey, this is still cool. It's it's different. It's given us a completely different answer than we expected. Um, 50 million for Upamecano is an absolute steal. Let's go ahead and negotiate his wages as well. Hopefully, it's not going to be a restaurant scene. Because if it is, I'm going to have to mute it. God damn it, I have to mute it on my computer here. Hang on. There we go. Right, don't forget to unmute it, Matt. It's still copyrighted, I bet you. So I'm not risking it. So let's go ahead and offer him... Let's try rotation because he's going in the second team. Let's see what happens here. Wow. Okay. He's going to accept that. I mean, it is Barcelona after all. He'll just want to play. Five-year deal. I think that's about right. He's still very young, only 22 years old. He wants a three-year, so we'll go ahead and do four. He should ac accept that no problem. There we go. Okay. Um, technically, we should be doing a release clause, but it, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and offer him, why not, 100k. We've got over 2.6 million in wages. That's ridiculous. We're going to give him 100k. If he doesn't accept that, that's crazy. There you go. 
Done deal. Upa Meccano is a Barcelona player. And uh, the reason I wanted to sign him is because in the second team, we are currently using Tadebo. Not the best player. Good young player. But for Barcelona, it's it's not the best, is it? So we'll go ahead and throw in our brand new signing, Upa Meccano. And he goes into the second team. He's 78 rated, so he's not even that bad. He really is not that bad. I wasn't expecting him to be anything more than that because we're still using the old database. This is not the latest stats, but uh, 78, that's absolutely fine by me. And now let's get through this window, play some games, and um, maybe we'll get a few offers coming in for some players that we don't want. I've got a bunch of these players up for sale and none of them have gone yet. So our next game is the Super Cup against Real Madrid. We've then got Atletico Madrid in the league, Real Sociedad in the league, and then, is that Espanyol? I do still forget sometimes uh, which teams are which. Let me just double check. I think that's Espanyol, isn't it? Uh, it is indeed, and we're playing away in that game. Here's the league table, by the way. Good timing. Uh, 13 wins, 3 draws, 2 losses. I think I would have showed you at the end of the last episode. And I've got to remind you, I'm recording this about a week or 2 weeks before you're even going to see this. So, um, I don't actually know what bits I'm including in each episode, but... Uh, I should be ending each episode showing you the table at least, but uh, we're, we're looking good at the moment. We've lost two games. It's not too bad. In terms of a rebuild, though, we need to be winning the league. So hopefully we can get, I don't know, nine points from those those nine games. But now this Super Cup game against, um, against Real Madrid, I'm pretty sure it's the only game, isn't it? So, um, oh, we've got Atalanta in the Champions League. Did I know that? I can't even remember myself. It's been a few days since I recorded. So... Uh, we're going to play this game against Real Madrid. It is... Oh, wait, it's a semi-final. Who could I be playing in the final then? I'm not even sure. Would it Would it be another... I don't know. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, use the match simulation then because I'll play the final. Uh, I'm tempted to go with the second team, actually. I don't really want any injuries. But then again, look at the team they're using. No, I think we go with our first team. Busquets is back in the team. He's been injured for a... a a decent amount of time now. Uh, looking at the Real Madrid team, they really are going strong, aren't they? That's arguably their strongest team, although they do have Bale in there. I've heard, by the way, and I don't know if this is true yet, but um, Bale's going to be 79 rated in FIFA 21. How is that a thing? He is still a quality player. That doesn't make sense to me. Oh, I think we scored. Yes, get in there. Griezmann makes it 1-0 after just 13 minutes. I still wish we could then press a button to view the replay. I really hope they include that in the next game because it kind of sucks that if you score during this match sim, you can't ever see that goal. Even at the end of the game, if you go into the match highlights, you won't have anything there. It's a real shame. It's it's just lost. So uh, I've already asked them about this. Hopefully this time next year, we'll have this match sim with an improved version where you can see the highlights, you can see the goals. So when you score, it comes up with jump in or view replay. That would be amazing. But We've had a good start here. Ideally, we get one more goal. I'm going to jump in here. Let's see if we can get that second goal before the break. Here is Lionel Messi. Oh, man, I love it. It's so cool. Oh, straight away, though, I lose the ball. Modric into Benzema. Oh, this is bad. Here is Bale. Plays it back to Carvajal. God, it's been a while since I played. And I've got to say, playing it on console, oh, no. No, why did I jump in? <laughs> I've made it so much worse. I jumped in and conceded straight away. As I was saying, though, I can't stand playing on console. It is so slow. It's so much better on PC. Please buy it on PC if you're only going to be playing career mode. It is so much better. I'm hoping on the PS5 and the uh, the new Xbox that it's, it's going to be as smooth as it is on PC. Just, ugh. It's so slow. I can't stand it. But let's see if we can get Coutinho in behind here. We've still got five minutes before the break. Got no one in the box. That's a lovely turn. Oh, can I keep that? No, I can't. Yeah, I shouldn't have jumped in. I've actually made things worse. We're into the second half here. De Jong on the ball. Plays it back to Busquets. Into Griezmann. Don't forget, I've changed all the numbers. It's actually kind of difficult for me to remember... Which number is which now? We know number 10 is Messi. And here he is. Go on. Into Griezmann. Back to Busquets. Oh. Get a shot away. Oh, my. Oh, no. It's still there. Come on. Yes. Oh, he's put it wide. 
three shots now we've had. And look at us dominating the possession. We've got 30 minutes left. We need a goal. I'm going to take out Busquets. He's only just come back from injury, so maybe it's a good idea. I'm going to throw in Dembele as well. And you know what? I'm going to change this up. I'm going to put Messi up top. Why not, you know? Give Messi a go as striker. Oh, here's, a, here's a, a time to jump in. Look at this. We can break down the left side. Get Fatty in behind. Nice. Right, can we get anything going from this? Just keep going. He's got Ramos behind him. I'm just going to go alone. Go on. Oh, he's done it. That is the beauty of jumping in. You get a moment where you see you've got space. You hit that square button or X, whatever it is. And then bang, straight in behind. And that might just be the winner. Come on then, let's risk it for a biscuit. Jump to result and 2-1. So there you go. Good result against Real Madrid. Let's find out who we've got in the final. Damn it, I only just remembered to unmute. Honestly, I'm such an idiot. I always forget to unmute again. Damn you EA for making me mute the cutscenes because of some stupid copyrighted music. But anyway, have we got the fixture? We don't. Okay, so let's just sim a couple of days here. Um, normally I wouldn't sim. I'd do all the training. Just don't forget this is a mini series. It's nothing too crazy. Oh, shh, no. Have I accidentally simmed it? I'm trying to come out. Come on. No! Oh my god, Matt. What have I just done? I assumed it would be down here. I didn't think it was the very next game. I'm an idiot. That is completely my fault. And we lost as well. That is shocking. Wow. Good job, Matt. Well done. Okay. Anyway, we, we just have to move on. We've, we've got Atletico Madrid again. We've got a chance to beat them after we lost that final. Let's see if we can get a good result there. I'm gutted. I did not mean that to happen. I didn't think about it. Why didn't I think that it would be the next game? Oh, my God. Right. So, Manchester United have offered us Fred and 96 million for Griezmann. That is absolutely mental. So, we can view the exchange player here. Let's see how good Fred is. 80 rated. To be fair, he is actually a very decent player, you know, in career mode. Um... I think he's he's okay in real life. He hasn't quite done what maybe everyone was expected when he when he first signed. But that's a crazy amount of money they're offering for a 29 year old. Um, again, it's an awesome system. I think it needs tweaking. That seems a little bit mad to me. I mean, Griezmann is worth 103, so maybe I'm maybe I'm overlooking it. It's a lot of money, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and reject it. I'm not looking to sign Fred, and I don't really want to sell Griezmann. So I might as well block all offers coming in. We also had an offer for De Jong, 140 million pretty much, um, which I, yeah, th there's no way I was going to even respond to that. And uh, PK as well, we had a few offers coming in, so uh, let's block that as well. I don't really want to sell any of my first team players. You know, I'm happy with my squad as it is, but we do have a few players on the reserves that could go. So maybe we'll get some offers coming in there. Let's go ahead and attend this press conference before the game against Atletico Madrid. And let's see what this first question is. Are your boys ready for the game? Um, we need to find some form. I mean, we did lose our last game against them, but uh, we're in excellent shape. We are, to be fair. I've done quite well to keep the balance of the squad fitness and the match sharpness up as high as I can. It actually isn't easy. You, you guys will find as soon as you get this game, you can't just not think about it and, and everything works you do actually have to have some thought behind your your ideas of keeping match sharpness and fitness up uh, as well as player morale you need all three to be out uh, up in the green really are you out of the title race what um seems a little bit harsh mate considering we are top of the table with real madrid and a big game big game who will win this isn't the time for predictions. At our best would be anybody. I like it. We go in with positive vibes. All Black is in goal. They've signed Klosterman. Jimenez, Felipe, Vachalco, Coque, Lorente, uh, Thomas, Partey time. I hope by the time this goes up, we've signed him. <laughs> um, Arsenal, I mean, not me in this game. Uh, Saul is playing left mid. They've got Morata and Kramaric up top. It's a strong Atletico Madrid side. As we know, they just beat us. So who knows what's going to happen in this game. Hopefully, we can pull off a good win. Oh, go on, Messi. Yes! We are 1-0 up within the first 10 minutes. Lionel Messi did some sort of 
silky smooth skill to get inside the box there. He went in between the two defenders and then slammed it home. Oh, no. Oh, and we've conceded just 10 minutes later. Kramerich scores. Okay, it's one all. That's literally their first chance of the game. We've had a few. Um, doesn't bode well, does it, when a team that you're playing against isn't really playing that well, yet they still score. Hopefully, there is not going to be any more goals conceded. Here we are on the break again, though. Griezmann. Play it inside. Okay, we've got a free kick. We're obviously going to jump in here and take this with Lionel Messi. The question is, is can I actually score from this? Probably not. I'm going to aim it about here and then put some whip on it. Go on. Oh, my God. That was actually a beauty. I'm quite happy with that. That was not a bad free kick. Can we get a replay? Here it is. Messi bends it into the top right. It's actually a very decent free kick. If only that went in. Let's take this corner. Messi's going to take it. Oh, it's not a very good one, Matt. What have you just done? Oh, wow. And it comes to absolutely nothing. What a waste. Oh. Hey, there we go. Griezmann with his right foot. Nice. Good timing as well. There's just over five minutes to go until the break. We are 2-1 up. Oh, you're joking. Oh, my God. He hit the post. I think Morata just hit the post. What a shame. What can I say? What a first half. Let's have a look at the stats. So 53% of the ball, three shots, two on target. No, sorry, three shots, two chances. They should really show more stats. I think that'd be really nice. Um, basically, it's very even at this point. Do I want to make a change? Is anyone struggling? I mean, Busquets, because he was out for so long, his match sharpness is only seven. So it might be worth swapping him out at some point. Do I do it now? Um, do you know what? I actually am. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to bring in Vinaldum, who can do a very decent job there. The question is, do I want him? Mm, okay, we'll put him as let's put him as a centre mid, so he gets his full overall rating. We're getting on the break, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in here. Let's play it on the left side for Coutinho. Right, what have we got? Oh, hang on, look at De Jong. Oh, go on. Oh, that's a foul. How is that not a foul? Let's put Coutinho in again. Oh, what a ball. Messi's made a run into the box. We're not going to pick him out, though. Oh, we've got it. Why not try a finesse shot with Coutinho? Oh, wow. That was almost an absolutely incredible strike from Coutinho. It just goes wide. Full time here, though, guys. We do get the 2-1 win. Very happy with that result. We played well. You know, we got decent possession there. Maybe could have been a bit more, but we played against Atletico Madrid. They're a very tough side to break down, and we managed to have four shots, two of those going in. So, yeah, very happy with that result. We move on. So now we are at the end of the month. We have deadline day. You can see we managed to get uh, some good results. We did actually lose a game against Real Sociedad, which was a shame. Um, but we won two cup games. We also beat Espanyol 2-1. So right now, I believe we're going to be second place still in the league. Let's have a double check here. Yeah, unfortunately, we are in second place. We are three points behind Real Madrid. But we are a massive 10 points clear of third place. How Atletico Madrid are in fifth, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Although if they win their next game, they do go fourth but uh, we are now in deadline day let's see if we get any big offers coming in we've got seven hours to go here let's see what happens I don't think we're going to get any offers are we which is a bit disappointing because I've got a lot of players that are transfer listed that are in my reserves you know my not so good players I would have expected at least a few offers nothing absolutely no offers coming in whatsoever so that's that's definitely something else they need to tweak as well I have noticed I'm not getting many offers for players that I've actually translisted. I'm actually getting offers for players that I haven't got up for sale. So, um, yeah, that's a little bit frustrating. Oh, no. Longley has an injury for three months. So you've probably noticed, you've definitely noticed, my manager rating is quite poor at the moment. I wanted to have a little look and see how we're getting on. So, of course, the youth development one, that's going to be an issue. It's a high priority, but I decided that I'm just not going to worry about that in this mini-series. Of course, I would normally do that. Brand exposure, we are only five games out of 12 in terms of getting the clean sheets um, and we haven't signed any players from South America. Financial doesn't matter, even though we are one out of three there. Um, at the moment, it, it looks like we could still win the league. It's, it's difficult, but we will, I think, win the Spanish Cup. We're in the quarterfinals right now 
And of course, in the Champions League, we're in the round of 16. We've got Atalanta coming up. So we still have a lot to play for. I feel like the manager rating takes a beating when maybe it's too early. It, it, it shouldn't really until we've failed these. There is still uh, a, a big chance that we will complete all of these. So, um, well, maybe not the sign players from South America. But yeah, that seems a little bit unfair. But I don't know how they can really code that into the game unless... Right at the end of the season, you suddenly drop down to 50 manager rating and you lose your job. That would absolutely suck. Right, so we've won the quarterfinals against Sevilla in the Cup. And we've beaten Real Sociedad in the semi-finals of the Cup. We also got two wins in the league there. We've got Champions League game, a 2-0 win there. Very nice indeed. We're just going to simulate this entire month because I do not want this to go on forever. We only do, we're only doing a mini-series. 2-0 win there against Levante, I think that is. And now we've got Sevilla again. Got a feeling we're going to lose this one. Oh, we got a win. Very nice. That's a very good month. Look at that. It's just all green. Looks like we're going to go through against Atalanta pretty easily. We got a 2-0 away win there. We're into the uh, the next stages of the Spanish Cup. That's going to be the second semi-final. We might as well go ahead and simulate that one now. I'm pretty sure we're going to go through. There you go. So we've got another game against Atletico Madrid. We've then got the second leg against Atalanta, but no Real Madrid game. When's the next one against Real Madrid? I think we've played them twice, haven't we already? Uh, no, we haven't. There it is. Okay, so we're doing really well. This team is definitely in some good form, but um, let's see how that game against Real Sociedad went. Who are we going to be playing in the final? I don't actually know. Let's just have a quick look at the Spanish Cup because I feel like I've just breezed through that. Uh, Copa de España. Let's have a look. Of course, we lost the Super Copa, which was a shame. Um, so we've made it through and it looks like Real Madrid are going to make it through. So it's going to be another Clasico, but this time in the Spanish Cup final. We beat Real Sociedad 5-1 on aggregate. Oh dear, I'm getting warnings from the board. They're saying, look, we're not, we're not completing some of these objectives. You need to get to work. But we also have, this is a bit of a conflicting message, but we won Manager of the Month. We're doing something right, clearly. We are doing quite well in the league right now. I've got an email from Neto here. I mean, come on, man. We've got to Stegen. You, you're just not going to play very often. Um, I'll think about what you're saying. I'll think about it, but it, it might not be something I act on, I'm afraid. What we're going to do is get into the next few games here. I'm going to finish this month in this episode so uh, let's go ahead and do Atletico Madrid it's the biggest game here and then we'll sim the rest I'm going to change up the team a little bit both defenders are a little bit tired there so is Thiago so why not take Thiago out let's bring in Wijnaldum who's actually uh, currently playing at a plus five so technically he's 88 rated which is ridiculous a lot of my players are uh, a lot higher than it says they are. For example, uh, PK's got a plus six at the moment because of the uh, the good fitness and sharpness and the fact that he's very happy. His fitness isn't perfect, but uh, a good example of it affecting older players not as much is with Lionel Messi. He's currently playing at a 97. He's got a plus six pace, a plus one shooting, and plus three on his passing and dribbling. So it doesn't completely blow your players out of proportion when they're older um, it'd be disgusting if all your players could get to 99, wouldn't it? Although it'd be kind of fun, I guess. So uh, we're also going to bring in a defender. I don't know who I'm going to go with, though. See how slow it is to move these. Uh, let's go with Upamecano. And I'm going to play him with Umtiti. Why not? I think one thing they could add to this screen when you're doing the match sim is a live uh, look at the table. I would really like that. I think that's something they could easily add in. I believe going into this game, we've actually gone into first place. I think Real Madrid lost a game. So um, that's really handy. I think, though, that we've we've probably played an extra game to them at this point. We'll have to check at the end of this match. Uh, but right now, Atletico Madrid have done well. Nope, we've got it back. Going to push down this right side. This is decent. De Jong seems to go on that right side a lot. I might have to check his instructions. I don't really want him going wide. But here he is, playing it back into Upamecano. That's a lovely ball. Hello. Go on. Ah, oh, we've lost it. Unlucky. Nope, we've got it back again. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi! 1-0. Just like that. That is what you get having one of the best players in the game. Well, the best player in the game. I'm guessing he's going to be the highest rated again in FIFA 21. I haven't seen the ratings yet. My guess is going to be 
Messi, 93. And then I'm going to say, oh, it's Ronaldo or Lewandowski or De Bruyne. 90, they could all be 92, to be honest. That's my guess. Oh, I'm going to jump in here. We've got the ball in a good position here. See, look at Vinaldo making a run. Nice. I think you're offside, Coutinho, but we'll try and get De Jong through. No, nope. maybe wasn't the best idea to jump in right there because the players hadn't made a run yet. Well, and now it's 1-0. Wait. No, it's not. Must have been offside or a foul. I'm not really sure what happened there. Coutinho on the left side. He's doing well. Goes to Jordi Alba. Is he going to whip one in? Cross it. Oh, my God. This happens a lot. We seem to be wasting a lot of opportunities. But there it is. Half time, 1-0. Okay, let's go ahead and resume here. Do you know what? I'm feeling lucky. Jump to result. Hey, there we go. A 2-1 win. We had less possession than normal. But look how many shots we had. 100% deserve to win this game. Let's have a look at the ratings. So De Jong got a 9.1. To Stegen got a 9. How is Stegen getting a 9 when they had one shot? What's he telling me? He made one save? Unless he was fantastic with the ball at his feet, moving the pass, the passing along the back. Well, who knows? We should easily beat Atalanta there. 3-0 at home. So we do progress to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. 2-0 uh, win there against Ibar. Is it going to be another good win here? It should be. Yep, a 3-1 win away from home. Uh, and what's that going to be against Valencia, do you reckon? Another win? Is it going to be another month of green? Let's see. It's going to go to the next month. I might not even get to see it. Oh, we've got PSG. Let's have a look at the result. Yes, a 2-0 win. So another month of green. Look at this. Man, this is incredible. We lost two games in January, but we've made up for that with just nothing but wins. We are unbeaten at the moment. PSG in the next stage of the Champions League. That's a tough one. My manager rating has gone back up. That is good to see. And what's going on here? Anything anything special? No. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I do not want to do too much in each episode. I think there's probably two more. I, I don't know. We are now going into April, so we've got the Champions League. We're actually, we've got all the competitions left. We didn't win the Super Cup, but the quadruple is still on, I guess. Is it the quadruple? No, it's the treble, isn't it? We've got Champions League, we've got the Spanish Cup, and we've got the, uh, the league as well. So this is a busy month, though. We've got some really tough games, including the final against Real Madrid in the Spanish Cup. So in the next episode, it's a big one. Hopefully you're enjoying this little mini-series we're doing on FIFA 21. Although I'm playing it on console... Genuinely, I'm really, really enjoying this. It's a, it's got a lot more of an, a football manager feel to it, you know, with the balancing out the, the match sharpness and the fitness and actually watching the players on screen moving around. So I'm really enjoying this, and I hope you can tell. I'm actually really having fun making this, but I cannot wait to start the Arsenal one on PC because oh, it's going to be like a brand new game. Fast menus, moving players around is instant. Oh, I can only dream. It's only a couple of weeks away as I'm recording this, but it's it's literally two, is it two weeks away as I upload this series? So it really isn't long. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you drop a like rating and I will see you in the next one soon.